We all have our stories to tell. For some, they are inspiring, a struggle they went through, a death they overcame. For others, their stories are told purely for entertainment. This is my story. It is not some lame boring story about the first time I took my first steps or my first time riding a bike with no training wheels. No, this story is about where all of those other stories started, at my adoption. Hello, uh, my name is Bill McFalls and I'm Leanne's dad. Hi, I'm Joanne McFalls and this is the story of how I became mom to Leanne McFalls. My wife Joanne, Leanne's mom, and I always wanted to have children. We found out that nature wasn't on our side and we would have to have a child by other means. We looked into agencies in our area and we decided to go with Catholic Social Services so we could adopt an infant. Years went by and <clears throat> literally took about four years and uh, no, one had, no one had picked us. So one day we were at church and we saw an ad in our bulletin talking about La Vida Adoption Agency and they specialized in adopting from China. <clears throat> So we went to an informative session and we really liked the way the people worked and the children that they had already placed and we decided, let's go with that. My parents started the process in July 1994 and by the time October arrived, they received a call that they were matched with me, Fu Xiaoxing. They received my picture and information in the mail and my Aunt B was the first to see the picture. I was sitting in work and I received an email from my sister and... When I opened it up, I saw this picture of this little girl. The picture of Leanne. The one the agency sent them to let them know this was their little child ready for adoption. I was so excited. I was in work. I started screaming. And everyone's going, what is going on? So I explained the situation, how we waited so long to hear and Joanne and Bill finally heard. So excited, couldn't wait to find out more. Since my parents couldn't see me growing up as Fu Xiaoxing, they went on a search for a new name. Books and books and books of names and we couldn't come up with anything. My husband decided he wanted to name her Willow. But I just couldn't imagine me calling, Willow, time to come in. So I kept searching and searching for a name. I finally found a Chinese name in one book, Leanne, and it means Wispy Willow. How perfect was that? So we decided on Leanne. So now her name was set, her picture was in our hands, and now we just had to go to China to pick her up. I uh, decided to go and, and take the trip to China myself um, and kind of made that happen in real, in real quick. Um, it was on a Sunday and we found out we needed to go. and. Uh, by Tuesday evening, um, we were all on the plane. And when I arrived in China, um, it was Thursday night, China time, the way the, the hours work and the days and what have you, flying uh, uh, westbound. So I spent all day Friday getting the paperwork done. Saturday morning, first thing was driving out to the orphanage uh, where to pick up the child. So it started there at the orphanage. It was really kind of a long two-story building where many, many children are there. And it was, uh, a number of women that were there that uh, take care of the children during the day. Um, they uh, picked her up, brought her to me, and, and uh, there was a lot of uh, pats on the back and uh, thumbs up, you know, thank you for what you're doing, it's a great thing, etc. But just a few days of walking about, and so literally was there, as I said, I got Leanne on Saturday and walked about for a number of days and was able to make my arrangements by Wednesday to, to leave the country. So I had a flight arranged for Thursday morning. He returned on Thanksgiving Day. November 24th, 1994. My name is Barb McCarran, and I am lucky enough to be Leanne's Aunt Barb. So we were all up at my mom and dad's, and we were eagerly waiting. We were tracking his progress, when his plane was going to land, waiting for that phone call that they were in America. So we could not wait. So we got the phone call. They were in Newark Airport and on their way down. So we knew it would take approximately like two hours to get down to Springfield, Delaware County. They were gonna to go to my sister-in-law Joanne's parents' house. Thankfully for me, I got off the plane and walking down kind of the runway over to the customs office and uh, sure enough, I see Joanne or my wife there waiting. And I guess we got back around 10 o'clock or so that night to, um, uh, to the home where they had Thanksgiving and of course all the family was there, my family. 
Um, my uh, Joanne's family were all there because they're dying to meet this little little baby. Uh, we waited. It felt like for hours and hours. And Leon kissed, kissed was the floor. Wrapped. Oh, that's right. He felt he walked in the door and he kissed the ground. The ground. I did the customer. I walked in and kissed the floor and and handed the baby right over to to her mom and, and aunts and uncles and then uh, quickly sat down and ate some late, nice escarole soup. And all her little cousins and her aunts and grandmothers and uncles were just all around her. We were all crying. We were all so happy because we had waited so long for Leanne to come to us from China. And she was just wonderful. It was a truly Thanksgiving. We received a beautiful gift that day. I tell you, that's the best Thanksgiving gift, best Christmas gift any of us could ever have. We just will never forget how lucky she is that she came all the way from China to be in our family and live with us. And actually, we're really the lucky ones to have her. The, the last uh, 18 years have been, have been great and fun, and, and uh, I don't think I've messed her up too much. And hopefully it's... I always joke that it's... Um, being an adopted parent is a win-win situation because if the child does good in life, you can say you're a great parent. It was great parenting that made it happen. If they mess up, you can just say it was bad genes. So all along, I think it's a win-win for us, but it was a great experience. From an orphanage halfway around the world to this wonderful family that hopefully she enjoyed for the past 18 years.